Hey everybody, it's Anita with Twerp Communications here with another Hootsuite tutorial for you. I sure hope you're having a better day than I am. I started the morning by dropping a bowl of homemade soup on the floor. My windshield wiper flew off while I was driving and I was chasing the bus up the street because we were late. And this is about the ninth time I have started recording this video tutorial for you. So hopefully it's going to work a little better this time. Today I want to show you how to use what I think for a lot of you will be a feature you may not even have known existed in Hootsuite and that is the ability to add Google URL parameters to a link that you're shortening. Uh, I'm just going to take this one out that I was working on so you can see it from the beginning. So most of you know that you can stick a link in here and click shrink to save space, for example, on Twitter, or to be able to track how many people actually click on that link. You can use that um, in Hootsuite to see you know, how, many, how popular your link was. But what a lot of people don't know is by putting that link in there, you actually get the option by clicking on advanced to add some URL tags that will help you in your Google Analytics analyze your traffic in different ways. So if you've never done it before and you click on select a preset, you're only going to have Google Analytics as an option there. So click on that and it automatically brings up source, medium, and campaign. Now because I've been playing with this nine times today, it's already populated this for me. I'm going to send this tweet out on um, Twitter. So I'm going to select my Twitter handle over here. So my source is Twitter. If I send it out on Facebook, my source would be Facebook. The medium is a post. I wouldn't change that unless it was an ad or maybe it was a video or maybe it was something else. But for right now, it's just a regular tweet or a regular post on Facebook. So I'm just going to call it post. And the campaign in this case is workshop. If I was doing a campaign to promote my ebook, then I might call this ebook. If I was doing a campaign to get people to sign up for an event, I might call it event tickets or ticket sales or something like that. So I've picked the preset, uh, the Google Analytics, and I filled it out. And if this is something I think I'm going to use frequently, then I want to save this just to save me a little bit of time and frustration later, click create a new preset and give it a name. Now for me, I'm going to call it twerp because it's for myself, not a client. Twerp Twitter Workshop. So that says it's for me, it's for a Twitter post, and it's about a workshop. So I'm going to save that. And the next time I come in here, it's already saved there, all set up for me. So I could actually create a new one as well based on this one and call it twerp Facebook workshop and then all I have to do is change this to Facebook and when I go down here and click apply it should have why isn't it doing that if I let's um, double check and we'll just put the link in again Now I'm going to click Twerp Facebook Workshop, okay? So it's about for me. Here's Facebook. It's a regular post, not an ad, and it's the workshop campaign. I'm going to click Apply. Apply. There we go. And now you'll see that all of those parameters have been added in here, okay? and click shrink and it shrinks it all down to that 22, 24 character limit again to save you space. You can track it within Hootsuite to see how many people actually clicked on the link. But when you go into your Google Analytics, you can now look at that workshop campaign within Google Analytics and see where your traffic came from for that workshop or that campaign. Or you can see um, under the other two options, you can look at Twitter campaigns and Facebook campaigns and see everything in a bit of a different fashion. So I hope that you will use that and that it saves you a little bit of time and we'll be back another time to show you where to find that in your Google Analytics.